All right, folks, last match on center of the mixed portion of our pool play, and it is another one within pool number one. You just saw Ben Johns and Jesse Irvin play some flawless pickleball, and they, by all math, appear to be set to play as a partnership over the weekend. That is going to be a difficult team to deal with. Yeah, they've got a little bit of experience. Um, I think uh, I think they're going to be a, a strong contender if they're if they're playing together. But um, you know, Jay and Jay and Lucy, that is also a very very strong team. Yes. You know, Lucy is just so solid. She's just won so many tournaments, and um, she's usually playing with 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 Matt. You know, Jay's going to be a little more. Jay's a lot more active. As a as a as a mixed doubles player, um, so it'll be interesting to, to watch how they team up together. I mean, they're going to be they're going to be very very strong. Um, who knows what language they're going to speak? You know, they both speak you know so many languages. They can they can communicate without anyone knowing what's going on. They are practice partners. They both live in Wichita, so the fact that we haven't seen them together often is 100% because it, Kovalova it's Matt's and fault. Wright. Yeah. It's all Matt's fault. We can always point to Matt Wright here as the issue in the fact that these two tall giants as I'm sitting here, uh, they're just off to our right. So uh, last match in the pool, Kovalova to serve. Let's play pickleball. Again, seeds on the line here. The other thing I'm very interested, uh, I'm very interested to watch Federico play mixed. Yes. I haven't seen him play a lot. I've watched him play a lot of singles, which he is great at. I haven't seen him play a lot of mixed, but he's doing well today, so he's. Yes, already has two wins on the board today. Out of, out of, a, out of this group, which is a very tough group, so. And that's the part of his game that's going to have to be on point and a good reset to start with. So I think you're going to see a lot of that, of attacks from the Kovalova, De Villiers side, and defense. Can Staxrud stand up to that? Certainly looks like he has. Love having him here on center court. Got a good look there, did Elise Jones. Yeah, and Federico's got to, you, you, you've got to always enjoy playing with Elise just because she fights so, fights so hard. She's someone you just are always going to enjoy having as a partner. So a miss serve and a miss third and unable to move this along. Great finish down the middle there by Kovalov, and that's what is going to happen. You have two long players here, yeah. Scott. I mean, Lucy just set that up. Just stay ahead, stay ahead, stay ahead. Wait till you get the one you can finish and put it in the perfect spot. And that's the one that I love that Staxrud put his paddle in there, but. The person in front of you is dangerous. Get that paddle ready for the next one. He was just a tad late. Yeah, while that attack might work uh, against a lot of people, you got to know your personnel. Yes. Like, you can't go hard at Lucy's backhand because it's... No, she's sitting that way, so yeah. if you can find the right side of her body, that is a winner. And uh, indecision on that middle return, and that's a good place to put the ball in in a format like this. They got to talk or the ball's going to be a clean winner on a ball going four miles an hour. People ask me where to return, and I said, make them negotiate. Always. Yeah, the uh, the target being the left foot of the player on the right is just right in that area. Make them figure it out.
great job by Kovalova, just pushing, 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 and then Set. De Villiers gets to finish off the candy. When Lucy rolls that dink, if it's not wide enough that you can hit an ATP, you're in trouble. Like you're, you're struggling to deal with it. No doubt. And Elise Jones not afraid of anything anywhere. No, nope, she gets one a little bit high, and she was the first person to get the ball down, and that was enough. Not a bad play for no. Federico. You want to take some chances. You want your presence to be felt. He knew where the ball was going, just didn't quite execute. Reset clinic by Kovalov and De Villiers. Can they finish a point with it? Oh, that's nice. Tremendous all around, and that's the difference in the finish location. Got it on the right side of Kovalova there. They, they got a few free attacks with just resets, and they just they just kept pummeling. Look at that little sneaky flick from Federico Staxrude. I like that idea, but well, let's go behind Federico and make him play that backhand side. But if you didn't know he had the flick. Now you know. Yeah, and that uh, dink way too high, and yeah. Jones takes it. She had nice technique on that because there was, there was some misdirection on it. I wasn't sure where it was going. And Such good defense from Elise. Yes. Because I think Stacker is like, oh, no, that point's over. And not with Elise Jones flying up there to get it and put it in a safe spot as well. If she wasn't there, she would have dove. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. So Kovalova and De Villiers are going to take this switch of sides and think about what's going on. They are down 8-2. We'll take a quick break ourselves. We'll be right back. All right, we are back, and it's Staxrude and Jones impressively up 8-2 at the turn. Again, first to 15, win by one. Ah, uh, there's that. They've been, run, they've been running that combo, though. Elise is hitting the high rolling drop. Lucy reaches out with her forehand, and Federico has to decide how much can he get involved. Um, didn't work that time, but they've uh, they've got themselves involved in some points using that yeah. combination. I'd love to see him just be convicted. Don't reach. Just go. Just go. Move those feet a little bit. Just quality dings from Lucy. Yeah. She's going to just make you hit very difficult shots. And I think that's what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to dig into the fundamentals to get back in this. Not today. Lucy and not ever. Yeah, I know. She's loaded. Loaded with that two-hander. A little high off the transition ball from De Villiers. Yeah, and that's one of those where not knowing your partner's foot speed. Jones was stuck in the advertising, but it would have been there easily. Just deep. I'm going to go out on, at least Jones has touched the, the walls oh, yeah. and the sides more <laughs> than anyone else. No doubt. She's trying to give herself a little room on the return, but then we'll get involved no matter where the ball is. Just brilliant. De Villiers certain that's got to be going down the line and buzzes across his station there.
Oh. oh. If I'm Federico, I know we didn't win that point. If that is the way to play mixed doubles, commanded the ball, commanded the line. He did a good job early in that point of letting Elise have, of not taking her dink, and she set him up. Dax Root sticks his paddle in there and catches Kovalova. He found it more to her, the right side of her body, which was just enough. That's why you have to be so precise. Like a lot of people play pickleball, they just hit it. Aim and aim into fractions of why these guys are the best in the world. Again, like that, the first two at her backhand came back. The first one to her forehand side did not. Gets a little love off the tape, but the same play keeps working. So uh, if I'm Kovalova and Davillier, I got to return it to Stacks Root and not let this just keep happening. A little too much on the serve, so. Get a gift. Can they make a run at it again? To 15, win by one. Seeding and pairings all to be determined, but uh, seeding is definitely on the line here as all of these players are stacked in the same win-loss area. Oh, and after a brilliant yeah. batch of defense. Only backhand she's missed. Oh. I'm so impressed with Elisa's deep. She just yeah. steps in ready yeah. and just puts her puts her paddle. She's just always Mentally, physically ready, and in the right in the right position. And that one, just tantalizing enough. So, the lead is 12-5 for Jones and Staxrude. We'll take a quick break. They look fantastic here at Braemar Country Club. This is Selkirk Lab Showdown. Just three points away from an impressive victory, but work to be done here for Stax Rude and Jones. At least stepped in there. She kind of she had that big backhand and Jay defended. Yes. Jay got his paddle on that ball. Every ounce of Elise Jones was put into that. Man, that's why he's good at singles right there. It's a nice drive. Awesome pickleball. And Elise oh. Jones with the Ernie winner. That's the best way that point could have finished. If you want to look up the definition of confidence, look at Elise Jones right now. She's taking full cuts at, right at Jay, and he's, he's handling them. Lucy's the one that's finding good spots, though.
Nice partner protection by Stacks Rude. That's just good pickleball there. I like that. Partner protection. That's exactly what that was. Maybe uh, eight feet behind the kitchen line. You is might want to reset that one. Not just, the you know, best just place to take a full. Although... If it goes down the line to the to the to the forehand of Lucy, that's the place to put it. However, yeah. degree of difficulty, and now you've added the sideline as your enemy as well. There's the there's the formula, mm -hmm. and they keep letting it happen. It just you can't let five points in a game to 15 all be the same. And Elise Jones and Federico Staxrude. Impressive, in control, and they will be paired together going forward if our math is correct. Oh, they, they will be the two seed. Yes, so it'll be Staxrude and Jones as the two seed in the pool. We will have Irvin and Ben Johns as the one, and it's not seeds, we're gonna reseed everybody, but. They will play together. So it's Irvin and Johns. It is Jones and Staxrude. Kovalova and Davillier will play together, so they're going to have an opportunity to avenge this. And then 